Hey guys, um, I am back with another video here, and this time I will be showing you my complete DVD collection for 2017. Um, I normally, I, I did these in the past, like one or two times, I believe. Yeah, but I, I, I just, I never end up making them the same time. I, I made one earlier this year, but I ended up not uploading it for some reason. But I, I'm going to show you, it's not going to be like the one I showed like a year or two ago, where I like took them all down and like opened them up, because this is going to like take forever. So this is kind of be, going to be like kind of an overview, but like it's my DVD collection, so I'm just going to show you that. So I'm just going to pan over and show you like what I have, and I will do this for my VHS tapes at some point. So, yeah, and I'm going to have to pause like every a couple times so I can like move stuff around so you can see other stuff because so I have some that are like behind like they're stacked behind each other and I have my brightness on you could probably tell just to make sure it's kind of dark just so you could see so if it's too bright I'm sorry but if I didn't it would have been too dark so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I I've had a couple things I was going to show in like updates but I never did so I'm just going to kind of point out some of the things that I've got that I haven't shown that I've got like the past couple of weeks or so because I just didn't make an update so I'm just going to show you those and just have it count as like kind of an update I guess so I'm going to go ahead and get this started so I don't run out of time because I did record this before but I ended up running out of time so I'm going to try to hurry up but not too fast so up here this is just some of the Disney stuff. Family Guy. This is basically just a bunch of random stuff that I don't watch as much or I just don't watch. I mean, I don't know why Napoleon Dynamite's up there. So that's a really good movie. And then right down here is just some stuff I had in my closet, which I just took out. Just to show you guys, so I'm just going to pick these up, show you the rest of that, so yeah, and give me one second, I gotta actually gotta adjust the tripod, I do have this on a tripod, I'm kind of holding on to it and it's kind of too long, <laughs> not going to make a joke. But, um, down here I actually got this DVD stand a little while back, so I put some horror movies, I'm trying to make this like a horror movie, little rack, and I've added a couple stuff. And this right here I did show you, it's um, the Faculty and Phantoms, I got that a while back and I don't believe I showed it. And then I got Paranormal Activity 2. I got that. So yeah, that's that little section. And then right here, I actually got a Naruto Volume 3. I got that today. And then I got this good Charlotte CD, which is really good. Has majority of the songs I like. But I got that, so I'm just going to move these out of the way. And then down here is just like a newer section I've put. Well, I mean, it's been there for a while, but it's kind of newer. Um, I got Cat Dog the Complete Series a while back. I didn't show that. And hopefully you can see this pretty good. And then I got How to... Eat fried worms. I got that a while back. Then I got actually a lot of this Muppets Christmas, Hugo. I believe I showed Rookie of the Year. And sorry about that glare. I got Well of a Birthday. I believe I I believe I showed that. And um, Arthur's Fountain Abbey. Just had a bunch of stuff there I did not show, so I just decided to pull those out. 
So yeah, here's the rest. Okay, it's kind of hard to see down here, but that's obvious. That's freaks and geeks, and under that's um, Agent Cody Banks too. And then right here, are some of the TV shows I've got Avatar. I got those a while back, and um, you, you've already seen those, but I got the middle season one, which I did watch. Pretty cool show. I I wouldn't say it's underrated, but I think it's like not a lot of people talk about it. It's a pretty cool show, so I, I recommend that. And then back here, um, Home Improvement seasons one and two. Those kind of cost a lot. I mean, mine didn't really. But the other ones cost like a good amount. I've only seen them at like FYE and they cost like $20. And I'm not, I don't like the show enough now to like spend that much on them. But whatever. I'll get them at some point. American Pie, really cool. And then over here, some Beavis and Buttheads. Simpsons, this is just a whole bunch of Simpsons. So I just, I don't have that many. This little, this little light thing I had clipped on the little thing right there. Um, some South Parks. And then, right up here, um, again, sorry about the glare. But I've got the Goldbergs first two seasons, the only two they've released so far, and they're like already... About to season five's about to start airing in like September, I believe. A really good show. I love that a lot. It's probably my besides the Big Bang Theory. That's probably my favorite show. That's like airing. So I, I like watched all of like well most of season four on TV. Seventh Heaven, which is a really cool show. Um, Buffy the Vampire Vampire Slayer. Um, my cousin's always wanted me to wa finish watching season three, but I will watch that at some point. I do like that show a good amount, so I will continue watching that. Um, over here, let me move some of the stuff. I don't really use this toothbrush, so I don't really know why that's there. Um, I've got some more horror movies. Um, Halloween four. I actually got, that's a newer one that I haven't showed or shown. Some more. Scream, really cool. Final Destination, which is probably one of my favorite horror movies. Well, I guess you, you could call it a thriller, as it says, but that's a really good movie, in my opinion. How I Met Your Mother's. Um, Diary of Wimpy Kid, the first, the good ones, um, I watched The Long Haul, I actually read that from Redbox, a, like, a night, couple nights ago, and it wasn't that bad, it was just kind of bland, I guess, it didn't really, like, it. it's not the same, I mean, it's not because, like, I've been used to these, it's just, it was kind of cringy at some points, and it just, they made it way too childish, like, those were childish, like, kid-friendly, but they weren't, like, child-childish, the, the Long Haul movie was just, like, I, it was like the his sole purpose was to appeal to little kids, but it wasn't that bad. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say don't watch it. I would just say if you were a fan of the books and the movies, just give it a try to see if you like it. Um, Jackass, kind of got to hurry up here. Harry Potter, which is a really cool. I love that series. Here's some more. Um, Daria, that's a new one that I got. This Naruto one's new. I don't believe I've shown that. And now I'm going to pause and move this stuff back so you can see the stuff behind there. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, I've moved that stuff so you can see some more stuff. This is the stuff that was behind um the other stuff. I'm saying stuff a lot. Um this is just some random stuff. These two Ninja Turtles I got of two thousand three. I just thought they were kinda hard to find, so I just picked them up. 
I'm not haven't watched them. Not really too amazed by them. I mean, they're pretty cool, but whatever. Peanuts movie. Um, the Amanda Show. I, did, I got a new copy of this because mine was actually really badly scratched. So I got this. I actually switched to my case because my case was better, but I switched the discs around. On um, a lot of my Curious George DVDs. Back to school with Franklin. I gotta kinda hurry up here because I'm about to run out of time again. Um, Friends and Joey, the spinoff show, which wasn't that bad in my opinion. Um, that 70s show, first season of Walking Dead, then the fourth and the fifth. I watched the second and the third on Netflix and I just didn't get them. So I'll get them at some point. The Big Bang Theory, all the seasons that are out. And then you can see a majority of my Two and a Half Men and Boy Meets World, but I'm going to pause right quick and show you the ones behind there so I can um get the stuff like pulled out. So I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay, next up, I'm going to clear some stuff up, obviously. I'm here my Boy Meets World. I do have Season 1, but my cousin's actually borrowing that, so I don't have that to show you right now. Um, These are the three seasons of um, Two and a Half Men that you probably couldn't have seen. And here is some more stuff. Just a bunch of random stuff. Malcolm in the Middle, which is really cool. Just a bunch of random stuff that I just kind of threw behind here. So, yeah, and I will go. On, I am going to put those back, and I'm gonna get up here so you can see, so I don't have to cut. Hopefully, I don't fall. Um, here is some other just random stuff. Phineas and Ferb, which is awesome. I love that show. Um. 28 days later, I picked that one up. That's a newer one. Trick or Treat, which I recommend a lot if you like or getting into horror movies or you like horror movies and haven't seen it. That's a really good movie. Or well, Anthology, I guess. Super 8, which is one of my favorite movies. And then a bunch of Scooby Doo. Wayne's World. Really cool. Those two Saturday Night Live DVDs, which I'm not a huge fan of Saturday Night Live, but I just picked them up. And then this four film favorite Superman, which has the first four. There's All My Family Guys, American Dad, Firefly, which my cousin really wants me to watch, but I'd probably watch Buffy before I watch that. Um, Viva La Bam, I actually got season, the, um, season 4 and 5 um, DVD, but I, I bought it from Amazon, not Amazon. Well, yeah, I think it was, no, I think it was eBay, but it ended up not coming, so we got a refund and got my money back, which sucked. My Rugrats and more Nickelodeon DVDs. My one and only Fungo Pop, which I'm not going to take out, but it's Ghostface. Here is some more. And then those. I just have Mario, Luigi, and a couple minifigures there. Those three that 70s show DVDs which I like a lot for some reason. Ordinary World which has Billy Joe from Green Day. And then I got Green Day poster over there. I'm actually going to see them on September 1st. So that's a really cool. I'm looking forward to that a lot. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut and I'm going to put stuff back together and sign off because that's into my video into my DVDs. So I will talk to you guys in a second. Bye. 
Okay, guys, um, I just remembered I have those three right there that I didn't show you. Um, Premium Rush, Nitro Circus Movie, and the Indian in the Cupboard. I just forgot to show those. But, other than that, that is the end of this video. Um, so, I'll just do a quick little pan. As you can see, I have a whole lot. And I got those, and then those right there so and those so that's pretty much it for this video um if you want to see my VHS collection um you can leave a comment and a like whatever you want to do um I'll probably do that anyway because I feel like a lot of people would want to see that so I feel like People like that. I mean, I like doing that. I like seeing people's collections and what they have. So I'm probably going to do that anyway. But if you want to see it, leave a like and a comment or something. And I'll try to hurry up and get that out after I put this video out. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, So, yeah, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.